30 year old lady who lost her missing upper right central incisor many years ago due to an accident came in asking for an implant to replace her denture. A CT scan was done to ensure that the bone can support the implant. And this is the final result. as young as teenagers who have a developmental growth abnormality with the, the jaw may be longer, shorter and we can do corrective surgery to um, harmonize the face so to speak and all the way to the more mature members of the public who may have lost some teeth or may have um, shrunken jaw due to aging and atrophy and we can rebuild the jaws and the teeth using advanced technologies. This gentleman came to see us with multiple dental problems that has been troubling him for many years. He has seen many dentists who has been doing primarily firefighting work on his teeth. Looking inside his mouth, we can see that he has an old crown that is sticking out because of a mismatch of the shade of porcelain, his teeth are poorly aligned and the roots of teeth are visible. Looking at his x-rays, we can see an advanced stage of gum disease whereby the bone supporting the teeth is shrunken. There were no back teeth in the upper jaw and hence the biting forces were concentrated on the front teeth only. Some of the teeth had root canal treatment that is showing signs of reinfection. Conventional treatment for this patient would involve gum treatment to control the progression of the gum disease, root canal retreatment to clear the infected teeth, reconstructive surgery of the gums to expo cover the exposed roots of the teeth, replacing the old crowns and bridges with new ones, adding bone to the back of the upper jaw and placing dental implants to replace back teeth. However, this would entail multiple visits to various dental specialists over a protracted period of time. And furthermore, the pro prognosis of these teeth are also questionable. The alternative of replacing all his natural teeth with dental implants was discussed and the patient finds the greater predictability of dental implants attractive and opt for it. One of the requirements of this very busy gentleman was that he did not want to convert to a denture in the interim period. We extracted all teeth except for four strategically selected teeth to support a temporary fixed bridge so that he does not have to wear a denture while waiting for the bone graft and implants to heal. As for the lower jaw, all teeth were removed and implants placed in the same sitting. A set of temporary bridge was also fitted onto the implants immediately. After six months, the final set of teeth were fabricated and fitted onto the implant. Hi, I'm Dr. S.L. Chan from Aesthetic and Reconstructive Jaw Surgery here in Mount Elizabeth Medical Center.